On today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Hot Toys Batman Classic TV Series Robin the Boy Wonder 1 6 scale collectible figure. For those who have already watched my review of the Adam West Batman, you can you probably gauged that Spot was so excited with what they did with the Adam West Batman. And for that matter, if you're going to get Batman, you definitely have to get Robin the Boy Wonder. So when he arrived, and he is now here, I can't wait to get him opened up, and I certainly can't wait to have him paired with the Cape Crusader on display. The box is very similar to that of Batman. In fact, I'm going to move him to the side. And I'm just going to reach off and bring in the Batman box. There's the sleeve of Batman. You can see the two pair very well, uh, very nicely indeed. Uh, same Batman emblem, uh, the kind of the upper faces of the Batman and Boy Wonder. Uh, but it's a really nice retro way to, to present the figure. These boxes are as cool, well, not truth be told, I mean, not as cool as the figure inside, but still a really nice piece indeed. Uh, the top of the box says Robin, one six scale collectible figure. If we turn around the side of the box, it's kind of more of that cityscape. And on the back, you get yourself the bat symbol, along with a warning choking hazard. As this is a collectible piece, not really that intended for a younger uh, collector, ideally really more for an adult collector. In also the same vein that Batman was, you can, if I just spin this around, you can take the Robin sleeve, pull that off, and inside, you've got uh, Robin, of course. You've got all his accessories. Uh, similar accessories to Batman. A couple of other different accessories, too. I'll show you that in a bit. And you also get his display stand. Having said that, let's take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Boy Wonder Robin 1 6 scale collectible figure. Don't go anywhere, guys. There's more heading your way. Stay tuned. Like Spot had showed you with the Adam West Batman, if you take the contents out, Robin, the all the hands, the accessories that he comes with, um, you can take the sleeve right out of the inner tray box, and you'll notice inside, once again, the na 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 yellow <laughs> interior. But if you spin around the box, on the back side of the box is once again the cityscape. And uh, what you could do, if you had Batman and Robin, the two pieces together, you could take these two boxes, put them uh, one on top of the other, one next to one another, and you can have Batman and Robin simulating uh, going up the side of the building. And you can also take the windows here and open them up. You could have one of the Hot Toys peeking their heads out. I mean, that would be kind of fun. I, uh, but I would say, though, like I did with Batman, is make sure you have something inside. Uh, make sure you have, like, the inner tray inside, because... Because this is cardboard, you don't want Batman and Robin standing on it. It's not going to give them a lot of stability, and uh, you definitely don't want this to be sunken in at all. But uh, really, as it goes for buildings, I mean, it's you know some nice paint going on there. Again, just that uh, this is a an added piece. May not be something that you're going to use, but it just goes to show that Hot Toys is kind of going above and beyond, giving us just extra love to the fans that grew up with the series. Also gets his own display stand, a standard Hot Toys display stand with the Batman logo on the top there. The front placard says Robin. And just reaching off and bringing the Batman, there's the Batman and Robin. Exactly the same, other than the fact that they just changed the front uh, placard there. But uh, I also really like the fact that it's small. Something I mentioned with the Batman video is with it being so small... It's a standard size Hot Toys base. It's not a big, overly large display base. It means also that you can display a lot of these figures one next to the other. When sometimes bases get too large, it makes things a little awkward, a little uh, cluttered sometimes in cabinets. So I like that, that you're getting a display stand. I like a lot more that you're getting a small standard stand, nothing too big and large. Then brings us to the Boy Wonder. And I gotta say, once again, Hot Toys did a phenomenal job on this piece. Um, now, as it goes, Robin's not someone that you're probably going to be likely buying on his own unless, who's to say, unless you're a big fan of Burt Ward or Robin by, by himself, he probably would be picking him up. But for me, and as most fans go, if you're buying Adam West, you're probably buying 
uh, you know, Burt Ward, you're probably going to have the two on display, which is exactly what I'm going to do. But this Robin looks perfect. His face, the same thing that I liked about Batman, I really like about Robin in that his eyes um, are sunken back in into his face. I mean, his face, it's not like his eyes are uh, distorted at all, but because they've sculpted the mask over top of his face, it looks definitely like something like he is wearing a mask versus uh, just a sculpted face. Uh, Expression-wise, he doesn't really have much of an expression, whereas Batman had the interchangeable face plates. Robin comes basically as you see. Um, it's not. It takes nothing away from the fact that Robin doesn't have those things, uh, because at you know where would you be able to f change out face plates unless they were to give you an extra head? But again, for Robin, I don't. It doesn't bother me as much that you're not getting extra uh, facial expressions for the Boy Wonder. Uh, he is really fine as he is. They've done the cape the same way that they did with Batman. Uh, if we flip this up here, you'll see. Let me just bring the camera in here. You'll see right there, there is a snap. There's a snap right there that's attaching the cape to his to his outfit. And I would say be very careful if you ever want to detach this. Batman, you might maybe want to adjust the cape if you want to have his, his arms up or if you want to have the cape kind of draping forward in front of him. Robin, I don't know if I'm inclined to ever unsnap this. Uh, really, the way that the cape is set up now on him, I think is perfect. Uh, now, what you can also do, too, if you flip the cape up, uh, he also has the same snaps on the inside cape that you can snap it to the uh, the shirt. And in the same idea, let me just bring the camera in there. In the same idea, you're just going to take the snap and snap it in. Again, with Robin, it the cape is small enough that it doesn't bother me too much that it's not even snapped into place. Um, it flows really perfectly the way it is. And I wouldn't really even need to worry too much that it, it's not attached uh, to the back uh, of his outfit. Really liking the individual laces. These all are individual laces on the front of his suit. Also, the R in Robin is raised, as it was in the show. And he also has the very small utility belt. I mean, I, I look at this in the same way that I looked in the, the TV series Batman. You could at least kind of justify that because he's got a you know a, a rectangular shaped utility belt, he could probably be hiding some of the stuff in there. Rob and I have absolutely no idea how he hid anything in that utility belt. I'm pretty sure there's even a couple episodes where he pulls out a batarang. It's like where would you pull a batarang out of that utility belt? It's way too small. And also, like in the show. Batman, uh, Robin's got his tights on, uh, right down to his little elf shoes. Uh, kind of ridiculous, but that's the way he was in the show. He had the, the tights on there. And uh, again, it looks exactly like it was in the show. I think, once again, the accuracy to how the characters looked, Robin and especially with Batman, uh, I think they nailed it on in both instances. Robin is a much smaller 1-6 scale figure. Uh, obviously, for the reference that you probably want to see, the comparison you guys want to see, uh, here's Robin and the Cape Crusader. And you can see that he is, I guess, really about a foot taller. Uh, not really a foot, but a head taller than Robin. Um, putting the two side by side, you can kind of see, yeah, that's accurate. That's pretty accurate to the show. That's about the same height that uh, Batman was to Robin or in you know Adam West to Burt Ward. Out question that if I was going to get Adam West, I definitely had to get Burt Ward as Robin. I mean the two look perfect together and the vibrancy of the colors in their outfits with the gray and the blue in Batman and the red and the green. Again, it looks like it was taken right out of the show. And Robin gets his fair share of extra interchangeable hands, eight extra hands in total those hands you get five holding style hands of different uh, openings ones for smaller size uh, gadgets and accessories one for things more like the bat radio I'll show you in a second um, also things like his batarang he has different hands for that so he has five hands for holding accessories of closed fists if they ever get into any fights with henchmen biff bang pow hilarity would ensue he's got two closed fists he has one extra hand, which I guess also could be used for holding an accessory. So kind of would round it out to six uh, holding hands and then two closed fist hands. 
gets his own battering, which has the same hole in the side and comes included with his own cord that you can feed through the battering. Uh, a little bit smaller than Batman's, and there's Batman's right there. You can see Batman's a lot different in shape, a lot bigger in size, but the two certainly go well hand in hand. Also gets his Bat Radio or Bat Communicator, which is actually the exact same one that uh, Batman got. Same coloring and everything else, but you get two of them. I don't know if I would ever display them with their Bat Communicators, but certainly... Uh, always well received when they give us all these extra accessories, especially accessories that are fan nods. Our Robin's coolest accessory, however, is a pair of bat handcuffs or bat cuffs. Uh, they have a real chain connecting the two pieces together, and they do actually open and close, so that's a really nice touch. Whether we may ever get bat villains through the line of 1-6 scale figures from Hot Toys, I'm definitely going to be holding these just in case. For the Boy Wonders articulation, Robin does have a very nice ball joint in the head. Allows for a lot of movement. Nothing really restricted either. I mean, Batman did have rotation in the head, and you could still move it. But I think Robin, Robin's head moves a lot easier. He does have the hinge socket shoulders, so the arms do move out and forward and back. Um, you kind of have to do a little bit of manipulation to the costume as you move the arms just so that it doesn't bunch up and it doesn't restrict the movement in the shoulders. Uh, he also does have a swivel in the upper forearm, a bend in the elbow, which appears to only be a single bend in the elbow versus Batman's double bend in the elbow. Hands rotate also via pin and socket joint, so they bend back and forth and rotate all the way around. He does have a swivel and upper torso bend. A um, little, again, restricted by the costume. Not as much, though, as it was in the shoulder area. And when you get to Robin's legs, his legs do go forward, back, out quite easily. There's absolutely nothing uh, obstructing the leg movement at all in Robin. Uh, where he didn't have double bend, at least from what I can see in the elbow, he does definitely have a double bend in the knee, allowing for some really great poses with Robin. Also down when you get to the feet, the feet pivot up and down and rotate all the way around. Batman and Robin go hand in hand, pretty much like peanut butter and jelly. If you're going to have one, you're definitely going to have to get the other as well. Robin turned out perfect. Again, I have really little gripes with the figures themselves. I guess, again, the only thing I would say is I don't really like the fasteners. I don't like how it attaches to the cape. Had they maybe just gone the route of a simple Velcro, it would make things a little bit easier. But, I mean, the, the two, without any doubt, look fantastic. I was excited when I got Batman and got a chance to review him for you. And still looking at, at Batman, I'm I'm so glad I was able to pick him up. Robin, by scaling and everything else, he's not as impressive as Batman. But again, he's a smaller figure. And the two, again, you would want one to go with the other. Um, I think Robin also is a little more, a little less expensive than Batman too, because he is a smaller scale figure. Now, with Batman, the same thing I did with Batman, I did with Robin. I bought both from Sideshow, uh, Sideshow Collectibles website, and I paid by installments. Uh, Robin, I think I paid about $70 a month or so until he was fully paid off, and then they had him shipped to me. Uh, Batman came, and I think Robin came pretty much right around the corner from the Cape Crusader, but I am super thrilled to have both on display. Um, if you are looking to get the Cape Crusader and the Boy Wonder together, Again, your best bet is probably go to Sideshow Collectibles website and you can pay by installments. If some, if the sight of a $200 plus figure uh, scares you, by all means, don't, don't fret. You can always pay by installments. Today's Collectible Spot, we're having a look at the Batman TV series, the classic TV series. We're having a look today at The Boy Wonder. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out Robin or Batman, certainly head over and check out my review of Batman as well. And certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Doodle -doo.